guys, Evelyn here on Monday Gex and today we're going to be doing a 3D shake effect here in Sony Vegas Pro and I'm going to show you guys how you get it from start to finish. So the video clip you see right here on your screen it is the 3D effect we're doing. And we're going to show you, I'm going to show you guys how I got it. So you're going to have your clip here in Sony Vegas. I'm just using a small clip of Lisa from Blackpink's music video Playing With Fire. And what we're going to go ahead and start off to be able to do a 3D effect is you want to enable it in Sony Vegas. When you do this, it's just going to enable it just for this project. Um, so if you want to do it on various other projects, you have to enable it every time. We're going to go up here into our video finder here, our video mode, viewer mode, and we're going to click project video properties here. And we're going to go into the video tab and scroll down and you'll see stereoscopic 3D mode. You want to change it from off to either red, amber, or green. We're going to click um, red for now and we can always change this later. Untick swap to left because I ticked that on by accident. Click apply and OK. So once you have that, as you see, our clip is desaturated. You can pull the saturation back up by going to saturation adjust, dragging this onto your clip, and then just dragging the low back to the right at 1.000 if you want. Now we're going to go ahead and do the shake effect. So you're going to go into your pattern crop tool. And what I like to do is I like to have the sync cursor on. So when I move in my clip, it will move in my viewfinder as well. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and just at the end, I'm at a keyframe. And it's just going to be restored. It's going to be the same as it was before. Um, so that in the end, it will go back to normal. Then we're going to do little presets here. I'm just going to zoom in, and you can just shake it however you want. The more, the more keyframes, the more shakes you're going to get. So, just warning you guys on that. Um, so if you want to have a lot or a little bit, you can just do it to your liking. I suggest having a lot, kind of, so that it kind of shakes a lot and it looks really cool. It really depends on you. I'm going to go up like that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in more right here. Let me zoom up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just do. Let me delete this one here because it's on the mask and we don't want that there. And then I'm just going to zoom in like so. And then, of course, our zoom out is going to be at the default, which is restore. And you can move your uh, keyframes however you want to give it more space in between. Like so, I'm just moving them just a little bit. And that looks kind of good. We're gonna, so I'm going to put my best to preview full. And have my area already um, highlighted, but to highlight your area, you're just going to click and drag your mouse. And then I have it right here at loop render. So when it when it's done playing, it'll loop again. We press Shift B on our keyboard to see how the shake looks, and it just rendered a little bit of it because my preview is uh, a high quality. So you can always do draft and auto and Shift B to preview it and it's going to be low quality but it's going to preview it, the entire clip and you can press play here and it's going to have, that's going to have, that's how it's going to look so once we have that done you want to make another uh, video track which I already have here you're going to right click on this one here copy make sure that your cursor is at the beginning of your um, track right click paste and now we have two copies I see that she lost the coloring in this one as well, so you can always just drag the same. I actually don't want the coloring on there. I just want to show you guys that you guys can bring the coloring back if you want to. So I'm going to remove that. Now we're going to add the 3D effect. To do that, we're going to just grab stereoscopic 3D adjust, and it's at default. Drag it onto the clip or to the whole track right there. Corrections, tab down, and you're going to go ahead and edit these settings. So we're just going to go ahead and bring my draft to best full again so I can see how it looks. You can just edit however you would like it to be. And you can also add edit the offset adjust as well. I 
actually like how that looks right there. And then you can save your uh, 3D up here if you just change the default name to, um, I'm just going to name it 3D um, Lisa, I guess. And you click the little save tab here so you can always have that preset here in your box. So if you go out and go back in, it'll be right there. So once you have that done, I'm going to add a coloring onto my clip. So I'm going to go ahead and just go down here. And the coloring I used was at from Perfectors 142 Book Fair. I found it really pretty. It meets things out, but brings the coloring out as well. And then you want to fade in your clips. So you want to fade in the offset about maybe, you can do like however much you want. A lot of people fade it all the way out like that, so it fades out. Me, I like to fade in and fade out, so I'm going to do 0 0.18 there, and I'm going to do the same on this one. And I'm going to render the clip and play it for you guys again at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment as well. Leave a request in the comment box below and share this video amongst all your video editing friends. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.